Ichibo here. Today we're going to look at what everybody claims in the forums and on the internet that putting in a user CFG file into the Star Citizen folder gives you a big performance increase and it'll just run like a striped ass ape. So, show you what I've done. I've turned off all my overclocks, CPU and GPU. I have uh, slowed down all my RAM timings, everything. Running the machine completely stock, nothing running in the background. Fresh install, Star Citizen 3.0. It will load up exactly the way it does when you first start. Nothing fancy here. We're just going to go into Arena Commander. I will show you here that everything is set just the way CIG intended didn't change anything we're gonna go into arena commander we'll go in real quick we'll check what our frame rate is with everything completely stock machine and software both we'll go into dying star here I have double checked all these results in the PU I've got the same results. If you're interested, it's just easier to go in and out of here to do this video. Here we are loading up. You will notice that we come out of the gate 55 frames per second. Not using a whole lot of RAM. Maybe 5 gigs, maybe 6 gigs, not much. Not taxing our GPU at all. We're not taxing the CPU. Everything's running cool, not getting any throttling. Page files a little big, but that just seems to be what Star Citizens does. I do have an older SSD from ScanDisk, 480 gig. Not as quick as the new Evos, of course but I really don't think it's going to be slow enough to make any big difference in frame rate. As you can see, 55, 60, 61, 62, flying around. This is what we're getting. Train following on the asteroid, getting warnings, too close. This doesn't seem to affect the frame rate much. Pretty stable all around. Now we'll quit the game completely. Shut it down. Close down the launcher. Make sure everything's clear. Now I'll show you the user CFG file I made. You can make one of these if you want to. You can copy it. It's really pretty simple to make. You can make one in note, Notepad. Just write down everything you need, just exactly the way it is here, and save it to desktop. And you'll notice I added stuff in here that I I added every I added everything that everybody said this works, that works. I left out a few things because they just seemed ridiculous to even put in there to me. Save it to desktop. Copy it, go into your Robert Space Industries folder or whatever you whatever you assigned to Star Citizen. I did default setup, go into the live folder, right click, and now paste your config file. And here it is, user period CFG. Now, supposedly, those are all active, they all work. And now we'll go back and restart Star Citizen. We will do exactly the same thing. We will make no changes. And notice I didn't make any other changes on my machine. Left everything the same. Give it a couple seconds here to load up.
And here we are. We'll go right back into Arena Commander. Single player. Go back to Dying Star. Load another Gladius. And we'll launch. And the first thing you will notice as nothing's changed. Frame rate's almost exactly what it, what it was before. It may be a frame or two different overall, but obviously not worth the trouble. It has no effect as far as I'm concerned. This user CFG that everybody claims everybody needs to make it run like a straight pass ape is wishful thinking. It doesn't work. Frame rates are no better. Doesn't look any different. It obviously doesn't hurt to use it, but if you're looking for a big performance gain by using this user CFG file, you're wasting your time. Now maybe it'll make a little bit of difference in a low-end machine, old four-core or something. And it can shut everything off so you get better frame rates, but from where I'm looking at, it's a waste of time. Uh, 